Stay till the end to see how ancient engineering outsmarted thieves and why this lock was nearly impossible to break. Only a specially crafted key, inserted at the correct angle and pushed with precise force, can compress the internal spring strip tightly enough to move the bolt and unlock the mechanism. Now that you understand the basic idea, let's examine the most complex design, the seven spring lock. Inside this lock are seven spring strips divided into three separate groups, each group made with different strip lengths. Unlocking it requires three different keys used in a strict sequence, even though the lock body has only two keyholes. Step one, the first key is inserted into the lower keyhole and guided along a narrow groove to catch the first group of springs. The spring tips have raised sections, so any incorrect key will jam. This step allows the bolt to move only part way. Step two, the second key is then inserted into the upper keyhole at a precise angle. This compresses the second group of springs, letting the bolt slide further, but it is still blocked. Step 3. Finally, the third key is inserted back into the lower keyhole, compressing the last springs. A firm push fully releases the bolt and unlocks the lock. These locks reveal the astonishing ingenuity of ancient locksmiths, hidden mechanisms everywhere, all designed to defeat intruders.